The last match of 2018, I herniated my disc. I hit a serve and I knew something was, was wrong. I just felt a jolt, a little bit of pain, like something in my back and wasn't able to finish the match. To avoid surgery, we decided to undergo a, a six week, uh, it ended up being about two months of, of rehab and with very little success. It was at that point where, you know, consulting with, with my doctors, uh, where it was decided that surgery was, was pretty much my only option um, if I wanted to, to get back out on the court. Yeah, there were a lot of kind of pains and, and issues that kind of um, stayed, stayed there for, for a while until a few weeks um, after the surgery and at which point uh, I got cleared to start doing some some slow very progressive uh, rehab and core strengthening and and then it took yeah it took about three months uh, post-surgery to really be able to start hitting the ball again so I started to slowly hit the ball and then uh, I think it was about six months after the surgery I was uh, back uh, playing tournaments. I uh, have a, a great fitness trainer that makes sure I'm, I'm um, not pushing my body too hard and I have great technology that helps with that as well. I have the, the Highway series watched which you know monitors my heart rate and my sleep patterns and what, how much I've actually exerted um, myself that day. So we, we've really been, been working closely with, with, with the watch. I think now as the times move forward and, and there's all, you know, all these new technologies, you have to use it because uh, you know, it, it, there's, only, there's only so much that you can know about yourself um, uh, through, through experience. So technology is definitely something that uh, I've integrated into my training uh, regimen.